Did you know that a SpaceX rocket has 10,000 sensors on board? So when a rocket goes into space, there are 10,000 sensors that are paying attention to every aspect of that rocket so that if something is going wrong or potentially is about to go wrong, the team on the ground can correct the issue before it becomes a real issue. And so I had this conversation with Dom Beveridge yesterday about sensors on a multifamily property. Absent of leak detectors and things of that nature, there aren't very many sensors on a multifamily property, but there are lots of things that can go amiss or go wrong on a multifamily property. From curb to commode, as I say, there are lots of things between your curb line, your lot lines, and the actual bead of caulk that goes around the bottom of a toilet uh, and or along the bottom of a, a bathtub. There are a lot of things in between those two spaces and all around the property that can go wrong, that can go amiss, that can interrupt a team member's experience, can interrupt a consumer experience. And sensor technology, the IoT, the Internet of Things, can actually assist in this respect. If you have sensors all over the property, you can monitor the health of mechanics. You can monitor the health of common area spaces. You can monitor the health of an interior space in a unit. You can monitor the health of the property as a whole. And in doing so, you have the opportunity to proactively address issues that could come up. You also are, once you have those sensors deployed on the property, collecting data that you can use to inform better decision making on an ongoing basis. So, sensor technology, it's not new, it's not novel. The thought that I just brought up is not new or novel, but it is something that is out there and something to consider as we go forward into the world of uh, constructing more space and or retrofitting space that exists today. Take care, we'll talk to you again soon.